Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and the following uh, prose question is prose passage question is asking for the main point of a paragraph. Usually, for these, you want to be looking at the topic sentence of the paragraph. But since this is a prose passage, uh, keep in mind there's no topic sentences, so this is definitely just in, an inference you can draw after reading this paragraph. What do you think one of the main points is? Uh, be look for evidence, of course, but also think about this in the context of the entire paragraph. Well, is it that struggling against doom? destroys a creature's dignity. Well, we do say at the very end, um, oh yes, he seemed to say, death is stronger than I am. So if the moth was doomed to die anyway, maybe it loses dignity by getting there. Then again, uh, that's not necessarily uh, the case. In fact, it says, the moth having righted himself now lay most decently and uncomplainingly composed. So it looks like it's a very, um, you know, it looks it looks very decent. It doesn't look like it's not dignified in any way. It looks very dignified. Uh, so we can go ahead and get rid of this answer choice because of this part here. Death is an inevitable part, inevitable part of even the strongest life. Uh, so this would make sense if we had any reason to believe that the moth's life was strong. Um, and I guess we do have some of that earlier in the passage when we're saying in the first paragraph, for example, that, uh, and this is the fourth, which is the one that we're looking at, that uh, the moth was full of life potentially, you know, that, that it might have it been composed of just life itself, if anything else. Uh, that it was, uh, what did it say, that the moth was... Um, well, basically vibrant, that it, that, that, it, that it reflected the same life energy that everything else had. Um, so if it was potentially that life energy to the fullest, um, and now it's dying, this would make some sense. This looks like a good answer choice. Let's see if we find something better. Scoffing at death is foolish and pointless. Um, maybe, but then this, would re this is a bit strange in that um, we have to, I guess, specify who's scoffing here. Uh, it seems that the moth is trying really hard to fight against death. Um, after a pause of exhaustion, the legs fluttered again and the moth tried to get upright one more time. This protest was superb, so it kept on trying. It was frantic until the moth got up again. But soon after that, the moth was dying. Um, the problem with the word scoff is it means, it. it, it, it I guess it implies that the moth was laughing at death, as though the moth thought, um, oh, there's no way I will ever die. But we don't know that the moth was thinking that. There's no way. Uh, we don't know anything about what the moth was thinking. We really don't know if the moth was scoffing at death, uh, mocking it. We do know that the moth tried really hard not to die, but that's not the same as mocking or scoffing at death. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. Great minds can be immune to death through their work. Uh, Potentially that's true, but we see no evidence of any great mind at all. We're talking about this moth. Uh, and maybe you can think that the observer, the, the uh, first person narrator here, the uh, uh, Virginia Woolf, is a great mind. And that's sure. But that, sh I mean, that, that could sure be the case. Um, I mean, I think she's a great mind. But then we don't know that necessarily from the passage. It does say, though, uh, immune to death through their work. We see absolutely no mention of her work making her... Uh, capable of fighting death. In fact, um, in another paragraph, I want to say it's the one right before this one, it says nothing she knows uh, can combat death. So that includes herself. She She's powerless against death, just as everybody else, everything else that shares this life energy that the moth has. So even though she has a great mind, and we do know of what her writings are because of what she's written, and even though we could argue ourselves that she has... Um, she is immune to death because of what she wrote. That's not what she's claiming here, and it's not one of the main points of the fourth paragraph at all. So that makes answer choice B the best answer choice. I hope that helps with this problem, and happy prepping.